Hey everybody, my name is Willow Hand and today we are starting a brand new series on the channel. So, so many of you have been really excited about the new channel launching and have asked me so many questions and had so many awesome ideas for new videos as well. So I wanted to go ahead and take the time to start a new series here where I'm going to be answering a lot of your questions and just kind of touching base so that you guys can get to know me a bit better and feel like we're connected in a, a, a closer way. So I'm really excited. I This morning, I posted on my Instagram story and asked for a few questions to kind of get the ball rolling and see what you guys were interested in hearing about. And I was a little bit overwhelmed. Um, I'm gonna go back and check now. I mean, the amount of responses that I've gotten has been insane. Um, there's, I mean, there's hundreds of questions and comments and video ideas in here. It's really crazy. I mean, there's just, like an insane amount of responses here in only two hours. So um, I'm gonna do my best to kind of go through here and skim through and answer as many as I can, but this is definitely gonna be a series that's gonna keep happening over and over again because I wanna get to know you guys better as well. So let's get this going. Okay. So there's so many different like categories of questions. I'm not sure how to like organize by different categories and stuff. Um, one of the first ones is, what is your country and where were you born? So I guess we will start there so you guys can get to know me a little bit better. But um, we're in the United States right now. That's where I'm from, where I'm born and raised. And we're actually in Florida. We came down here to spend a couple of months down here with my horse training for the season. Um, but I am from a small town in Florida called Inverness that kind of in between Tampa and Orlando. I mean, it's really in the middle of nowhere. It's just a tiny, tiny little town with less than 3,000 people in it. So I grew up in this very small town on a farm, and that's why I feel so connected with animals is because that's how I was born and raised. Um, so that's where I was born. Um, <laughs> this one's a little bit random. Would you like to start your own travel agency? I can help you start one. Um, I don't think I would even know where to start on having a travel agency. I've traveled pretty much everywhere in the world at this point, but I think that might be a little bit outside of my wheelhouse. I don't know about that. We'll have to, we'll have to circle back on that one. <laughs> Um, oh, have you ever been to any Southern Caribbean islands? I have actually, um, I've been to, let me see what we're gonna qualify as Southern Caribbean, because I feel like there's different people call different islands in the Southern Caribbean, but I've been to Aruba, and I absolutely love Aruba. I think it's really fun. I went to the island that the Renaissance Hotel has and swam with the pink flamingos there. It was really, really cool. It was a very magical place, and somewhere I definitely wanna go back to. I also went to Curacao, um, pretty close to when I went to Aruba, actually. Curacao was interesting because it was one of the most, well, like some of the best snorkeling I've ever seen in my entire life. Some of my favorite beaches are in Curacao, but overall it didn't feel quite as safe there. We were actually robbed on our first day in Curacao and somebody stole all of our camera equipment. So that was a little bit unfortunate, not really my favorite favorite place just because of that. It kind of put a damper on the rest of the trip, but I'd love to go check out some more islands there too. The Caribbean is one of my favorite places in the world. Um, hmm. Let me see. There's so, what's your name? <laughs> I feel like that's pretty obvious. My name is Willow. If you've come to this video at this point, hopefully you would know my name, but maybe some people don't. Um, uh, did you inherit your genetics from your mom or your dad? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, I would say I definitely take after my dad more than my mom. My dad is 6'5", and so I definitely got his height. I got his blue eyes, and we're kind of built the same. Um, my dad's really goofy and silly like me too, so I definitely feel like I take after him a bit more. Um, but I, my face looks more like my mom too, so I'm a pretty good mix, but definitely got my dad's height. <laughs> my mom is like five three, five, four-ish, so definitely got the, the tall and skinnies from my dad. Um, where am I living currently? At the moment, well, I'm. it's a hard question because I'm traveling pretty much constantly for work and for fun. Um, I spend a lot of time internationally, but um, right now I own a farm in Nashville, Tennessee, and that's where I call home most of the time, and it's 
my favorite place in the world. I'm obsessed with that farm. It's just, ever since I was little, I've always dreamed of having my own farm and it's everything I could have dreamed of. I'm obsessed with that place. Um, Snapchat, please. No, I don't do Snapchat. Um, I don't know. I don't feel like it's really my type of platform. Um, so for now, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and now YouTube is brand new for me. Where do you see yourself in five years? Ooh, that's a good one. Um, definitely spending a lot of time on my farm, traveling. I mean, honestly, pretty similar to how my life is right now. I would hope I absolutely love how everything's been going recently and I want to just keep doing everything a little bit more. Um, what is my favorite sandwich? Ooh, uh, when I was spending a lot of time in Milan for fashion weeks, I became obsessed with these Italian paninis where they put pesto, mozzarella cheese, and tomato, and then like fresh basil on a panini and grill it. I make a vegan version of that that is phenomenal now. So that is definitely my favorite sandwich. <laughs> um, tell us how to ride on horse, slow and racing. Okay, well, that's a little bit more in depth that I think I can get into today, but definitely check out some of my other videos to see me riding some more. And I'm hoping to do a little bit more um, showing the process of training young horses and what I like to do on the farm. So hopefully you guys can check out and see some more videos like that, if that's something you're interested in. Um, shoe size is an eight. I'm 5'11", so I'm really, really tall, but I actually have pretty small-ish feet for my height, so my shoe size is an eight. What's your favorite part of being an equestrian? Competing, training, etc. Oh, that's a, a good one, too. Um, I would say my favorite part of being an equestrian in general is working with really young horses. I like being there for all the first moments that happen with a, a horse, their first jumps, their first times, learning specific movements. I find a lot of joy in um, just being there for all the new exciting things with a young horse. And it's really, really hard. It's so challenging working with young horses, but I find it to be the most rewarding thing. And then kind of seeing them be successful a little bit longer uh, down the line is really, really cool as well. What's the craziest thing that's happened on a shoot? Ooh, I don't know. There's, I mean, the fashion industry is absolutely insane. Every time I go on a job, I feel like something absolute, absolutely ridiculous happens. Um, the past two campaign shoots I've done though have both been on the top of mountains. Um, one of them was on top of Mont Blanc on like the Italian French border. And then um, that one was really crazy just because it was so, so cold. Like the second you stepped outside, you were almost getting frostbite, even with gloves. I mean, I could barely even move my fingers. So that was really, really, really extreme. And then I made a video of the last campaign that I did um, that I'm pretty sure you guys have seen. I just posted it a few days ago, but um, that one was kind of crazy just because it was several days up on top of the mountain. Um, I'm from Florida, I am not a cold weather person, so that's something that's extremely challenging for me, but a lot of fun as well. <laughs> All right, show us some vlogs about your farm life. There are definitely lots more vlogs about the farm coming super soon, so stay tuned if that's something that you wanna see. Um, I wanna know about your dreams. I'm not sure if you mean dreams when I'm asleep or dreams in real life. Um, my real life dreams are just to spend more time with my horses on the farm and traveling to really cool places. Those are the things that make me happy. Oh, and the beach. I'm obsessed with the beach, anything water related. So just spending more time doing the things that I love. Um, you have fantastic legs. I've always wondered how tall are you? So I think I covered that one earlier. I am 5'11", so I am very, very, very tall for a girl. A lot of people don't realize how tall I actually am, and then they see me in person, and they're like, oh my gosh, this is kind of crazy. Um, so I am very tall. Someone says, do you ever come to the UK? And I do. The UK is one of my favorite places to go to. I've spent so much time in London and I've always said that London is one of the main cities that I can really see myself living in outside of the US. I think it's so cool over there. Um, I love the culture, I love the food, 
and the weather is the only thing that holds me back on spending more time in the UK. Like I said, I am a tropical girl. I do not do very well in cold weather, so that's really hard for me. Um, what is your favorite bikini color? Ooh, I find in general my style is a lot more neutral colors. I like a lot of like creams, browns, um, denim, blues, things like that. But when I wear bikinis, I definitely get a little bit more adventurous with it. I think it's always really fun to have a really bright color. I still stick to a lot of pastels, but I would say any color is a good color for a bikini. Hmm. You, you should sing more often. I will be singing more often for sure. Is that something that you guys would like to see more of on the channel? I've been thinking about doing like some cover songs or um, just playing some of my own music. So if that's something that you would like to see, definitely let me know. Uh, ever make it up to Boston? No, I've never been up to Boston actually. Um, never daily diet and routine, workout, etc. I'm definitely gonna do a lot more food videos. I'm obsessed with food. I've been vegan for the past almost five years now and I'm obsessed with food. I cook constantly and I'm always trying new things. And on the farm, I do a garden every summer too. So we're about to get that going and then there's gonna be so many food videos coming soon. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> oh my gosh, there are so many more questions. I mean, I'm on the first like a little bit of the list. There's thousands and thousands of questions. Um, I'm kind of, there's a lot of them that are duplicating on here too. So I'm going through and kind of, um, kind of seeing, oh, do you live in New York and where would you like to live in a few years? So I did live in New York. I lived in New York for five years and I really, really had a great time there, but since I'm from such a small town and I love the country lifestyle so much, I didn't feel like it was something that really fit with me long term, if that makes sense. Um, somewhere that I always love to go back and visit, but I really, really missed having green space everywhere and having my animals at home and having a garden and plants and all those little things that you just really, really can't have in the city. So somewhere that'll always hold a special place in my heart, but I don't necessarily see myself living there again anytime soon. Hmm. Ooh, what makes a great breakfast? This is something that I'm obsessed with. So I have the same breakfast almost every day. I've been doing it for years now and it's just my favorite thing ever. I love to have avocado toast and a matcha latte and I build my avocado toast up huge. I'm definitely gonna do a video on my favorite avocado toast because I find that most people make them kind of boring and I like to put all sorts of crazy stuff on mine and I put different toppings day to day and in the summer I'm always putting like tomatoes from my garden and sprouts and all sorts of fun healthy things on there and I'm trying to see if I can learn how to make my own sourdough bread. That's, I'm definitely gonna show you guys some of that. I don't know how it's gonna turn out. It's probably gonna be a big learning curve. It might be a total disaster, but we're gonna give it a shot for sure. <laughs> Someone said, I want to see a video of you at the beach on YouTube. Okay, I'm thinking about doing some more trips soon, I'm planning a few places to go. So let me know if there's anywhere that you really want me to travel to or anything specific like that. Like I love to go to the Caribbean. I spend a lot of time there. So definitely gonna be some BT trips coming up soon. <laughs> Ooh, what is my favorite brand of blue jeans? Um, I really love vintage things, and so I've been really obsessed with Redone recently. They do um, kind of, they do some denim. They started off making denim that was actually vintage Levi's and then kind of reworking them, and now they have a lot of just really, really cool vintage inspired pieces, so that's definitely one of my favorite brands to wear for denim. Um, there's a lot of how old are you? So I recently turned 25. Are you a city girl or a country girl? 
I would say I'm right in the middle. Like I said, I was born in the country and I absolutely love farm life, but I did spend a lot of time in New York as well and all the biggest cities in the world for my fashion career. And so I would say I, I need a balance of both. That's something that I kind of struggle with because I want to live on a farm, but I want to be super close to a big city as well. And that's why I really fell in love with Nashville uh, because I, it's one of the only places that that's even remotely possible. So that makes it really, really nice. Hmm. Have you ever been to Indonesia? No, I haven't, but I would love to go to Bali. It's definitely on my list. <laughs> Um, ooh, somebody said, what is my type? Um, that's kind of a hard question to answer. I would say that I'm less attracted to specific physical attributes and more of a personality. I like somebody that's really fun and interesting and always down for an adventure and a little bit silly from time to time because you got to have somebody that you want to have fun with, right? <laughs> Tips of beauty. There are so many things that I have learned from the fashion industry that I've taken with me. And um, so that's definitely gonna have to be a whole nother video, maybe even another series. <laughs> okay, this is crazy. We've been going for quite some time now and I'm not even like a 10th of the way done with this list. I think we're gonna have to make some more videos with this, but thank you guys so much for all of the questions and comment below. If you have any more questions for me that I didn't answer or any other ideas for series or other videos that you want to see, I'm listening and I try to respond to all the comments that I get on YouTube. So make sure you respond and we'll talk soon. Thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe.